Hey, Chris Borsma here. Uh, we run the K2 Honda Civic in Grid Life Track Battle. Uh, and I'm here to talk to you about our recent upgrade from the uh, Link G4 Plus to the G5 Voodoo Pro. Yeah, we made the switch from a G4 Plus Thunder uh, to a G5 this off season. Um, and it's been a tremendous upgrade for us. Uh, the G4 Plus was great. We didn't really have any issues or challenges with it. Um, it had been tried and true since 2019. We'd won multiple races with it. Um, but the Voodoo offered a couple of things that the G4 Plus just didn't. Uh, specifically, some of the motorsports grade functionality, uh, paddle control, things like that. So we got the opportunity to actually switch over to it and it's been a tremendous upgrade for us. Uh, the paddle shift control has been unreal out of the box. Everything just kind of works. The software has a lot more capabilities in terms of what you can do with the G5 software versus the old G4 Plus. The throttle body control, so we run uh, Bosch drive-by-wire uh, in the car. The throttle body control is a lot better. Cold air warm-up, idle control, things like that. It's not super important for a race car, but it's definitely nice to have for sure. And then the big upgrade that I've noticed as a driver is the traction control modeling and the G5 Voodoo Pro is substantially more advanced than what we had in the G4. The G4, you could, you could feel and hear the traction control kind of engaging in the car. And it, you could tell it was holding the car back as it was like kind of cutting. Whereas the G5, it just, I never hear it, I never really feel it. It just holds the power through the torque modeling. And basically the car kind of like is still accelerating. It's not like popping and banging. Uh, and that's been a major improvement for us, for sure. So the car is obviously a Honda Civic. Um, we run a B-Series engine in it. Uh, it's turbocharged. It makes about 700 of the wheels. Uh, we're running a 315 Nankang CRS street tire. So it's like a 200 treadwear tire. So traction is a, is always a challenge, right? So being able to limit how much power we're putting down in lower gears is probably one of the most important things for us. Because if we were to run 700 wheel horsepower in second gear, it would basically just light the tires up. So that's a big thing that we've always had good success with with Link. Even the G4 Plus did a great job of it, but the Voodoo kind of takes it to that next level and lets us get a little bit fancier in terms of our control strategies for kind of keeping the power from spinning the tires, basically. Honestly, like it's allowed me to trust the traction control a little bit more. So like at Gingerman here, like a corner where traction is always a challenge is 10. You're like off camber, it's a long sweeper, front wheel drive car. Before you'd always kind of like, you'd still have to kind of modulate throttle. All weekend, I've literally just been foot to the floor, turn in and it just holds the car. And then as you unwind the steering wheel, the boost builds back up and off you go. And it, it's very rare that the traction control does something weird, uh, which makes you trust it more. And then you can use it more to your advantage, right? So definitely you have to change your driving style. And when you can trust it, it really has that performance benefit for sure. So just making the car a little bit easier to drive, a little less sharp. And it's been a tremendous improvement from last year. The car is just a lot more controllable and fun to drive, to be honest. It's like my own little personal GT3 car, right? And that's, that's the way I kind of look at it now, right? So yeah, it's been, it's been really awesome.